Hey, what's up? It's Meezy, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get into tech. All right, so a lot of people ask me this in my DMs. Um, and so to start this video off, I just want to tell y'all how I got into tech. Um, so I have always known that I wanted to be a software engineer, or I guess I always knew I wanted to do something technical in general. So, um, and I took computer science classes in high school. So once it was time to apply to schools, I already knew what I was doing, I already knew what I was gonna do. Um, it was between electrical and computer science and I went with computer science and then so I, I got into college, I went to Texas Tech, I got my computer science degree uh, and then I got my first job and then now here I am in my second job at Microsoft so I had a very traditional route. Um, so just know that that was my path and if anything seems a little biased then that's why. So just know that that was my path, but in my time of working, um, I just met a lot of different people from all different types of backgrounds who might not have gotten that computer science degree. Um, and you know, I've, I've connected with a lot of people on the internet that also are like self-taught or maybe they went to boot camp. So I've gathered up all this information to bring it to you here to make your lives a little bit easier. All right. so. So people always say, how do I get into tech? Where do I start? I just don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. The first thing, honestly, is just start. The easiest thing to do to start is just do some research on the different roles in technology. I think a software engineer is the most um, visible position in technology, and so people assume that if you're not a software engineer, you aren't doing anything, but there's a lot of different positions. You can be a UI designer, a UX designer, a project manager, you can work in cybersecurity, you can work in networking, you can work in infrastructure. Like, there's so much stuff to do um, that if you don't know anything about the tech world, then I would suggest that you go do some research in general on what you can do and you might find out that software engineering is not the most interesting one. Um, and you might save yourself some time, right? Uh, and it's always fair, right, to start off in one of those. So if you think, yeah, definitely software engineering, you can always start that. And, you know, you get into software engineering, you're like, hmm, I actually like the user experience research side of this better. Or I actually am way more concerned about the security of the stuff that I'm building. Like, you can always pivot. So don't feel like that when you start this journey that you have to stick with whatever you stick to. Um, it's, it's, it's normal, it's human to want to change your mind and it's even normal to like come back to what you were doing before. So if you decide software engineer and you're like, no, cybersecurity, and you're like, actually no, software engineer, totally normal, don't freak out about it, it's fine. All right, the second thing people always ask is, you know, I just, I really need a new computer. I just, I can't start until I get another computer. Mine's just not good enough. Excuses, okay? That is an excuse. You don't need a specific computer to learn how to program. Um, first of all, there's a lot of web-based uh, compilers and uh, IDEs. <laughs> I don't know if I'm using the right terminology then, but there's a lot of places where you can write and run code online. You do not need a specific computer to do it. Um, you will be fine. I always say start with what you have and build from there. If you are letting not having the proper computer keep you from learning how to code or design or whatever it is, it's an excuse. This is your sign to just keep it moving. Um, even and, and then another question related to that people ask is like, well, I don't know, should I get a Mac or a PC? Literally doesn't matter. At work, I use a PC. In my personal life, I use a Mac. All throughout high school and college, I used a PC. Um, the computer you use doesn't matter. There's, unless like you legitimately just want to build uh, iPhone apps or like Apple specific stuff, that's the only time you need a Mac. But outside of that, it really does not matter. Um, so do whatever you want, use what you have, it will all work out. And on a note related to that one, <laughs> another question people ask me a lot is, uh, well, what language should I learn first? Again, it does 
doesn't matter. It does not matter what language you choose. The most important part of uh, learning to code is the actual concepts, right? As you grow and you develop and you get more experience, you will be jumping between languages more often than not, unless you're one of those people who's a stickler um, and you brand yourself as an XYZ developer. Um, I was in a rotational program for my first job. My first, uh, my first rotation, I used C Sharp. My second rotation, I was doing uh, JavaScript using a knockout framework and um, I didn't make it past my second rotation. <laughs> so that's what I was doing the whole time. Well, I did make it to the third one, but I was like, I'm gonna stay here in my UI zone. Um, so that, like, I switched between those all the time. When I was in college, my first class was Python. One of my second classes was in C. One of my third classes was with Java. Another class I had to use Unix. Another class I had to use SQL. Um, another class I had to use Assembly. So truly, language does not matter. You just need to choose one, stick with it to learn the basics, and then you can move around as you want to. But again, if you are using I really want to learn how to code. I just can't decide what language. Excuses. Another excuse. Just pick one, stick with it for a while, and then you can switch. Once you know the concepts, you can switch. Um, any any developer will tell you, right? It, it doesn't really matter what language they develop in. It might take a few months to, you know, learn that syntax, and some languages might have special little, little ditties <laughs> that they have to them, special little uh characteristics of themselves but overall they're all the same and you can jump into one just as easily as you can another once you have enough experience with programming in general all right now i know this is one a lot of people struggle with in general and that is should i do self-taught versus boot camp versus college i'm a big stickler for college uh, i went to college i had fun um, so if you want to learn and have fun at the same time, definitely I would say college. Also, I just prefer classroom setting, um, and so I will always choose college. I like to learn from experts. It's just easier for me. I don't want to have to trust random people. Like, these people have already been vetted. I don't have to worry about if the information is good or not. Um, it's, it's good enough for me. I understand that everybody doesn't have a finances to go to college, and so if I did not have the finances to do that, I would have went the boot camp route. Um, now, boot camp is nice. Uh, well, I've never been to one. Let me start with that. I've never been to a boot camp, but I know a lot of people have been through them. Um, amazing people, uh, amazing developers. I I wouldn't choose boot camp as my first choice just because I also want to know like the science behind things, like all the theories, and you know, just go really deep down into it, take a deep dive into like computer science. So at boot camp, you are going to learn how to code, no doubt about it, no questions asked. Like their main goal is to teach you how to code so that you can get a job. In college, they you don't necessarily learn how to code, right? You learn about the concepts, you learn about what built up this code, right? Like when I said that in one class I used C, C was one of the first programming languages, and we use that so that we could learn about like the archaic uh, ways to do data types and all that kind of or data structures and all that kind of stuff so like i enjoy learning like going all the way down and like drilling into what i'm doing in a boot camp you definitely don't do that mostly because you don't have the time these programs are like six to nine months right so they definitely don't have time to go through the little intricacies and in the grand scheme of things they really don't matter <laughs> like uh data structures and algorithms most people do not use those daily but it's just fun. That's a little sick that I'm even saying that. But yeah, it's just really interesting to me. So I prefer that. And that's why I would choose college over boot camp if I had the funds. But boot camp is just as good. And like I said, you are going to learn to code. Like, I think that's actually a shortcoming of being in college is that unless I was lucky enough to have a lot of classes where we had to build apps and stuff. But if you don't have that and your school is just very like, computer science focused then you kind of miss out on the skills so you have to build them on the job versus boot camp you know you kind of come out very good at building things um like if you do a degree you can be like so so on building things i feel like and so then there's our last option of being self-taught this is where i would not take and i would not recommend simply because i would not take it um self-taught is a lot of work 
but it is the cheapest option for sure um, and it's cool if you want to go at your own pace but what I say about being self-taught is that you have to take into account that it's not just teaching yourself it's also vetting resources to see if they're good enough to help you teach yourself um, so like Whereas boot camp or college, like these things have probably already been vetted. There's probably reviews, you know, there's there's a lot to back it up. Self-taught, you'll be like looking for courses and trying to figure out, okay, is this one worth my time? And then like a lot of people look at self-taught as free and I don't think free. First of all, anything that you spend your time on is not free. Um, time is money. But also at some point, those free resources that you use when you're self-taught are not gonna be enough and you're gonna graduate to you know, buying courses on Udemy or Coursera or whatever it is. Um, and again, that's still gonna be cheaper than doing college for sure. Everything's cheaper than college. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work on top of a lot of work. And I'm not in the business of making things harder than they have to be. And I think if you're not a certain type of person, I think self-talk can make you feel like this is not for you or it can make you feel like, you know, you're just not getting it when you really just might need that expert to explain it to you in a different way than what you're finding online or in whatever books you bought, what have you. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend self-talk. I'm not doing self-talk anything. I've honestly tried it recently and it just didn't work out. So I prefer to go, you know, the class, the classroom in um oh also i just want to add that i know that i'm in a more privileged place to where clearly i can afford to do college um and i get it if that's the reason then self-taught self-taught it up baby there's plenty of super successful developers that are self-taught but it's just not for me okay and the last thing about like getting into tech things you should know blah 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 i just need everybody to know that this is not easy it's not gonna be fast i think even if you go to boot camp right which is the fastest option because self-taught you make your own timeline life might get in the way blah 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 boot camp is definitely the fastest one because college is four years um even if you do that like nine months of boot camp it's gonna take you a minute to get a job so don't focus too much on like the actual timeline and how long it takes you to do something and blah 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 just focus on becoming the best developer designer ui experience researcher whatever you decide to do focus on becoming the best of that and everything else will like follow suit um but it's not going to be easy anything worth doing takes time and hard work like unfortunately unless you were born into a very rich family where things are just handed to you but yeah that's a whole other rant so that is my video about how to get into to, oh, that is my video about how to get into that is my video about how to get into technology if you have any other questions let me know down below if you have any advice to other people drop them in the comments um and i will see you in the next one bye